Lately, I've been trying to think of different ways that I can maximize profits when there is a pullback. You know, and I hate to be negative. You know, I'm not a negative person. I've enjoyed the run that cryptocurrency has taken. And I know a lot of people believe that because there's so many people involved in crypto now that the swings are going to be far fewer and in between, right? So instead of having a 90% swing down, you know, it'll be closer to the normal stock market. Well, unfortunately, you know, so many people, like when you go up from a price of say 9,000, to sixty thousand dollars okay that means that 90 80 percent of the people that bought in are new people that just bought into the past like say 16 months that creates volatility because the only way to know if somebody is treating something as a long-term investment is that long-term part so the more time that goes by that people are holding something the more you can stay assured that it's going to stay stable now with cryptocurrency, we don't have that because there's new people constantly going in. Yeah, it's a good thing that you have crypto everywhere and everybody is learning about it and investing, but that doesn't mean that a snowball effect can't happen from one day to the next. Something drops 50, 60%, it's gonna just keep on going more and more people are gonna sell. There's some people have weak hands that they're gonna sell at 10% down, they're gonna sell. So that's how the ball starts. Then the people that are a little stronger, they sell at 15% down, then 20, you get the point. And that's how things start. And that's how things go down 89%. So then there's the diamond hands at the very end, these people that are not selling no matter what. These are the people that in the end make the most money that are able to buy more. But here's the key thing. If you're going to be able to buy more and really make a lot, because listen, if it goes back down to say sub $10,000 per Bitcoin, and then it returns, you could 600, 700% your money. You can turn a hundred thousand dollars into six seven hundred thousand so how do you do that well you have to have money sitting waiting and this is the problem a lot of people wonder they're like well, where do i put it you put it in a traditional stock market say tech well that could be connected to crypto that could fall too you know put it in gold or something you know that's not easily transferable and you know the gold <laughs> barely keeps up with inflation lately it really hasn't so where could you put it well you know stable coins tether has not treated us great but I've been using Gemini coin, which gives you 8% APY. So if you got hundred grand in there, you get eight grand per year paid to you. This is stable, meaning no matter what happens, this coin is going to stay a dollar per dollar. So when I make consistent investments, it's just, that's the best way to do it. Say weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, you put the same amount, you invest in the coins you like, the shit coins, whatever it may be, but you do it with consistent, whether it goes up or down, you buy. Well, I put half of that portfolio into Gemini coin, stable coin, right? Because I know I'm happy that things are going great, but I know that eventually things are going to have a downturn. And I'm not trying to time the bottom, but I know around where things are going to end just by history. And I know what I'm going to buy. So the moment things fall, I make decisions, personal decisions you can make when I'm going to buy a little here, buy a little here on its way down because you're not going to be able to time it. But eventually you're going to get to that bottom. And that's where I'm going to push that money over. I may miss it by a few thousand, but I know anything sub 10,000, I'm going all in with 100 grand, 100 grand from the stable coin is pouring in there. Now I know it's unpopular, but we know it's coming. So prepare yourself. You can still invest and you can still make money in crypto by having a safety net. And I think the stable coin is specifically the Gemini coin is a good safety net. If you guys have other ideas that you use as safety nets, please do share. You know, I use the traditional stock market I'm more than I use crypto almost these days mainly because of the ease that you can get use it as collateral for loans for the business in the moment that i need you know a couple hundred thousand dollars well boom you know you have your investments you just take a loan out there right the problem is that i do invest heavily in tech my main holdings etsy shopify uh square i just added zillow and what else i got in there i think logitech logic is kind of a stable you know, safe buy. I think I got one more or two more. These same stuff I've talked about many times. Etsy just recently did a great, did like 13, 14% day. It was amazing. Anyway, and that's one of my major holdings. Anyway, back to the thing, okay? The main things. If you want three things to profit, if there's a main downturn, is use some of the funds that you allocate to crypto to put in something that is going to either move in the opposite direction or that is going to be stable if there's a crash and something that you can quickly transfer into crypto because you don't know when the bottom is but you don't know when it's going to swing you don't know how much time you have you may not have two three days so it's good stable coin allows you to seamlessly transfer from the stable coin to buy crypto in one second when you see the need okay and that's that's how money is made so if you're a belief and you know it's going to keep going up you know it's going to be new highs but you know there's going to be swings in the middle you want to allocate the most of your money when you do have these downturns 
So that's that's my advice. Take it for what it is. Whatever you guys use as strategy, I'd love to hear it in the comments and we could talk about it. You know, I know it, it takes discipline. And, you know, over the years I've done a lot of plays, day trading and all kind of other stuff. But the most wealth that I've gained is actually by just buying consistently. Hell, back in the day when I had a hundreds of thousands worth of Ethereum that I bought at like $11. If I just hang on, if I just hung on, I would have more money than I have now. I'd have probably $100 million plus. So you can't keep making the same mistakes. You got to learn from them. I mean, as I said, this just wanted to share that thought. Would love to hear you guys. What do you think? And when you think this uh, this downturn is going to happen? I know a lot of us thought it was already happening, but it ended up being the K2. But the Everest is around the corner, I'm sure. All right, thank you guys. As always, buy red and sell green.